Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into a crucial component in the world of electronics and power management, the 48 volt voltage booster. So have you ever faced issues with fluctuating power affecting your device performance? Well, we've got the perfect solution just for you. And also, I have an exciting announcement. We are offering a free tech consultation for all of our viewers. Whether you are working on a new project or need help optimizing your current setup, we are here to assist you. So just reach out to us through the link down in the description box below. Now picture this. You've got a sophisticated telecommunication setup, a cutting-edge renewable energy system, or even an electric vehicle. Everything is running smoothly until power fluctuations start causing havoc, devices drop out, efficiency plummets, and you've left scrambling to fix the issues. It's a nightmare, right? So that's where a 48 volt voltage booster comes to rescue. Now what exactly is a 48 volt voltage booster? In simple terms, it is a device that takes a lower input voltage and steps it up to a stable 48 volt. This stable power output is essential for applications in telecommunications, renewable energy system, and electric vehicles, where consistent performance is the key. For example, solar panels or wind turbines might generate fluctuating voltage level. By converting and regulating the input voltage to a stable 48 volt, the voltage booster can help maintain optimal functionality and efficiency. Now let's break down how it works. A 48 volt voltage booster uses electronic components to convert a lower input voltage, say from a 12 volt or a 24 volt battery, into a steady 48 volt output. And it does this through a process called DC to DC conversion, where it adjusts the input voltage by switching it on and off rapidly and using inductors and capacitors to smooth out the output. So this way, you can get a reliable 48 volt supply regardless of input fluctuations. And the common use cases they're everywhere, from powering telecom towers and network equipments to integrating with solar panels and wind turbines in renewable energy setup. Electric vehicles also benefit greatly from the stable 48 volt supply for efficient power distribution. So the possibilities are vast. Now let's talk about our 48 volt voltage booster. Here's a quick overview of its components and design. It's compact yet robust. And also, the design is optimized for maximum efficiency and durability. And the key features, first off, the regulated voltage output ensure that the fluctuating input voltage are converted to a stable 48 volt. And built-in protection mechanisms safeguard against voltage spikes, surges, and short circuits, ensuring your devices stay safe. Plus, it's incredibly easy to install and integrate it into existing system. It has a voltage indicators, so you can easily monitor the input and output voltage levels for quick diagnostics and troubleshooting. And it comes with a rugged enclosure to withstand harsh operating conditions and ensure long-term reliability. So now let's see in action. Here we've set up an outdoor 48 volt PoE switch powered by this 12 volt batteries using our voltage booster. Now as you can see, the booster efficiently steps up the voltage from 12 volt to a stable 48 volt, providing a reliable power source for the PoE switch. And you can also monitor the voltage level easily, ensuring everything runs smoothly. And our booster minimizes power losses and heat generation. Thanks to its efficient design, and the durable enclosure can protect the booster in harsh conditions, making it perfect for outdoor and industrial application. So now I'm going to walk through how to set it up. 
So this is our 12 volt battery. It is connected directly to our 48 volt voltage booster. Here we have the indicator light. So we can see the voltage level. This is the input and we can look at the output as well. And the booster is connected directly to our outdoor PoE switch to power it up. And we're using PoE technology by sending both power and data through one single Ethernet cable to our bullet camera. And here we have another Ethernet cable connecting the switch to our router to provide data with it. So as you can see, it is connected directly to the router and we have another Ethernet cable to connect the router to the network video recorder so we can display video footage. This is the HDMI cable connected directly to our monitor. So now you're looking at a live video feed. I'm going to wave my hand. So you can see it is working perfectly. So imagine using the 48 volt voltage booster in DIY projects. How about optimizing power from solar panel or wind turbines in your renewable energy system? Or integrating it into an EV system for efficient power distribution? The possibilities are endless. So thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. Before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech insights. And let us know in the comment below how you plan to use the 48 volt voltage booster in your projects. So stay power up, and I'll see you in the next video.